we have no information, right? So that's why I'm really here is, is uh, just pleading for information. Now at five, police begging for information in the search for a missing baby. Sophia Victoria Gonzalez Abarca is only seven days old and her mother is dead. Authorities don't know who took the child, but tonight we're learning about some new theories. Here's the latest. Last night, her mother, 27 year old Laura Abarca Nogueda, was shot and killed in Wichita. Her boyfriend came home to find her dead and the baby missing. Police haven't said who they think killed the woman or who has the baby. KCTV5's Jonathan Carter is live in Kansas City with the latest on this search. JC. Brad, the latest is that the FBI has been called in to help not take over yet, but to assist local law enforcement. Now, this is a picture of the now seven day old baby Sofia Gonzalez, who is uh, missing and her mom, Laura Abarca Nogueda, was shot and killed in their Wichita home. Police launched an extensive search along with the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. It's a search that brought them to the Metro to talk to an old boyfriend of Laura's who has since been cleared as a suspect. Now, in a press briefing, less than one hour ago, authorities pleaded to the public for help as they have no new information on the physical search. However, they do believe they're zeroing in on the actions of a person who might commit this crime. We're looking for anyone that all of a sudden has a child or says, you know, a family member has came to visit them and uh, a new child is there all of a sudden. Uh, they're showing them off. They're buying different items. Uh, you know, they could say this is their niece or nephew, or they could say that this was their child. They didn't know that, you know, they were pregnant. They also reminded the public that they can contact authorities anonymously. Coming up at six, the considerable sources the FBI can bring to the investigation to find baby Sophia. Live in Kansas City, Jonathan Carter, KCTV 5 News. So disturbing. And Jonathan, again, authorities begging for any information. JC, thank you. One of law enforcement's key tools in finding a missing child is an Amber Alert, but authorities tell us that there was not enough information this time to warrant one. KCTV finds Jessica Reyes takes a closer look now at exactly how they figure out if an alert should be issued. She continues our in-depth coverage. When we get an alert here at KCTV 5, this is where we put that information to go on air to spread the word as quickly as possible. But in this case, an alert never came in and we wanted to know why. The information police have released, the victim's age, a week old, and her name, Sophia Victoria Gonzalez Abarsa, along with a picture. It does not meet the criteria based by KBI to issue a uh, Amber Alert. So we're going with media, social media, you guys, it's been shared thousands of times. The KBI confirmed that with KCTV 5 News last night. Here's a look at those criteria. There has to be a child abduction involving someone 17 or younger. There must be a reason to believe that victim is in imminent danger. And that last one is key. There must be sufficient information that could help save the victim and or catch the suspect. We can discuss Amber Alerts all day long at, a, at another time, but an Amber Alert has to have suspects and that is what we don't have. Michael Tabman is a former FBI agent. He agrees that with no suspect or vehicle information, the information police have on the victim is just not enough. Most babies at that age don't have distinguishing features that any one of us could just look around and say, oh, that must be the baby that's missing. Tapman adds that releasing an Amber Alert prematurely can end up hurting the investigation instead of helping. They're concerned that the public, being well-meaning, they're trying to do the right thing, will flood them with calls and leads, and that will keep them from trying to chase down the really hot leads, the very specific leads, because they'll be flooded with leads they have to act upon. Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5 News. And take another good look at this missing baby. Sophia Victoria Gonzalez Abarca is seven days old. She was last seen in Wichita yesterday when her mother was murdered. If you have any idea where she may be, call 911.